Welcome to the county ground in Letchworth for this girls under 16 Challenge Cup final between Watford Ladies Youth Hornets and Harvesters FC. The Hornets are back in the county final for a second successive season and will be hoping to go one better this time after losing out last year. They made it to the final courtesy of a 14-0 win and an 11-1 win against Bedwell Rangers in the semis and have three former Harvesters players in their squad. Meanwhile, Harvesters arrived at the ground full of confidence after an impressive unbeaten start to the season, winning 12 and drawing four. Manager Greg Robinson will be hoping that Bolo Fisher continues her rich vein of form in front of goal, having already scored 31 goals this season. John, Shug John doesn't get the first but she puts a strong tackle in and plays it across to Afuakwa who plays it back. A shot with the left foot and it's off the crossbar. Fantastic shot there by Draper. Harvesters now looks to turn but that's a great tackle by the Hornets and it's the, it's the counter attack from their own half. She gets past another defender, she's got three defenders around her and one attacker in the area. She gets past another one, plays it across, and that's a oh, great goal! What a goal by Linda Afwakwa, gives Watford Hornets the lead. She's the top scorer for the, the Hornets this season, and after playing against them and scoring against them in the last season's cup final, she now gets on the score sheet for the Hornets. 1-0 to Watford Hornets against the Harvesters. Well recovered by the Hornets, just plays it up, looking for the goal scorer once again, and it's gone past the defender, she's through, but the goalkeeper is about strong, but it's a chance for a shot here for the winger, she has a shot, and it's just wide of the area, almost two goals in the space of two minutes. Ball swung it in the air this time, on the pad, just over the bar. Unlucky, beautifully made ball once again, and the Hornets player just unable to keep it under the bar. Hornets back on the attack. Plays it in its space. Evans, who stands in space, has a shot. Just goes wide of the target. Plays it forward, and that's over the top. The one for the second chase, and she's through. She's against the goalkeeper. Real field test, and the goalkeeper brings a great save. And it's just gone out for a corner. Fantastic shot there by Sutherland Young, but Helena in the goal was up to the challenge, and it's gone out for the Harvester's first corner. And the ball's played in on the ground dealt with by the defence, but she's come back out, another chance to cross it in, which she does, it's up behind everyone, it's with, she gives past one, has a shot, and it's all well saved by uh, Helena in the Hornets goal, two great saves by the goalkeeper, plays it across, plays it back to the midfielder, Evans looks left and right, plays it out to the left, left back, gives past one, then crosses in with the left, that's a great ball, but just in front of the substitute, and it's cleared, a cross goal by the defence, and it's Great shot there, but it's saved by Harvey Smith. Plays it in towards the goal, and that's, oh, just over the bar. Fantastic effort by the striker turned centre half, almost adding another goal to an incredible tally for the club. Hornets bring it in, but intercepted by the Hornets, and the striker through here on goal. Looks up, has a shot, but saved by Harvey Smith in the goal. Hornets has got four players in attack, it's four, three against four. She plays it through towards the striker, tries to get past the defender, she does, beats up a pace. Well held up and she's now got, looks up, plays it across, saved by Harvey Smith. Looking for the crossfield ball but it's brought down by Sutherland Young, she tries to get past one but she regains possession and gets past it and manages to keep hold of the ball for her side. Plays it in field. Under some pressure and the Hornets now are on the attack with McShane. McShane running towards the area strongly. Size one too many and the defence cover. And Harvester trying to build up but it's intercepted again by the Hornets. Has a shot and it's just saved. It's gone in! It's gone in. The goalkeeper tried to save the ball but she couldn't do anything to stop Julia Draper's shot. And the midfielder doubles Watford's lead. It was a shot from outside the area. Looked to be looked to be put past the goal by the goalkeeper, but it crept in in the corner, and it's now Watford Ladies Football Club Hornets two, the Harvesters nil. Played back to the goalkeeper for to get the first touch after coming on, but that's a poor touch. A Fisher gets the ball from the foot, has a shot towards the goal, as he's pulled one back. Ballon Fisher, hungry striker there, gets. 
in ahead of the defender goes around the goalkeeper and scores a 30 second goal of the season and after eight minutes of the second half it's Watford youth ladies Hornets two the harvesters one we've got a real game on our hands here now played out to this right side plays it through to McShane who's got a bit of time and space to turn she's by herself has a shot and it's just over the bar it's with with Evans who's got some space thinks it's about playing the pass through to Breyer who's through here and it, oh, it's just over the bar once again Alicia Breyer this time she gets past one looking to play it out to the swing but she's unable to get in and it's now intercepted and the Hornets played across and it's through on goal but the goalkeeper just recovers in time up for this it's a nice turn there by the psychic she tries to get past the defender but between them they get the ball clear for now it's on the wing played in towards the area and the goalkeeper is able to get the save great run by the winger she's inside the area has a shot and it's just wide of the post there two ahead of her she finds McShane in some space she gets past one and past another plays it into the striker who turns looks to have a shot but the defence recover for a minute but it's now another shot fill out the area the ball swung in it's in the air and it's passed everybody and it's just it's kept off the line and Evans the captain getting the goal after great defensive work by the harvesters clearing the ball off the line the first time Rebecca Evans got ahead of the defence and poked the ball in to the net to make it three goals to one and it's both teams trying to get a foothold on this ball it's the Hornets that do so played out to this near side He's got two in the air to aim for swings the ball in with the right and it's over the top it's a Breyer what a goal by Alicia Breyer after nice work by Lord on the wing she swings the ball in and Breyer gets in ahead of the defence and gets her name on the score sheet and makes it Watford Hornets 4 the Harvesters nil. Now it's them on the attack and that's a lovely ball through to Liv Sykeson who's in here. She's up against the goalkeeper, she has a shot and it's all oh, under the goalkeeper. Former Harvesters player Liv Sykeson gets her name on the score sheet. Seven in the area for this corner, the ball comes in. Nicely swung in ball, that's just on the pitch as she scored a second goal. Linda Afwakwa on the pitch for a matter of seconds. Gets ahead to the ball from that corner and makes it 6-1 to Watford Hornets. Referee looking at her watch and as he blows the final whistle it's the Watford Ladies Youth Football Club Hornets who win the cup by six goals to one. After a close first half and the Harvesters got back into the game at 2-1 it's last year's losing finalists who go one better this year and win the Hertfordshire FA Under 16 Girls Challenge Cup final.